Yo, so guys, welcome back to another video. This is another reaction to Atlas Pro. I've done a couple videos from the channel and I really enjoyed the ones that I've seen. I, I thought I subscribed. I always feel like I've subscribed to channels that I haven't. But um, yeah, this one is What If Antarctica uh, Melted. And I mean, yeah, it's pretty self explanatory. There's nothing else really to say. I'm just going to get into this one. Quick shout out to my Instagram, my Twitter, links in the description for those interested in following. Save my Patreon links were there for those interested in following. And I mean, yeah, man, let's just see what this video has to say. I'm intrigued to see what he predicts. I mean, global warming, like global warming, temperatures will go up, all that kind of stuff. I mean, water levels will rise. A lot of land will be like sunk under water, basically. But let's see what else he says, really. I'm this interested. is Antarctica. Interested. Today, it's mostly known for ice, penguins, and not much else. Or oh, in another way. species as well. A lot of species would be lost through it like polar bears peng maybe not all penguins because i guess some live in other areas but a lot of specific species of penguins could be antarctica is easily forgotten with some people not even bothering to include it on their world maps but in modern times we're beginning to hear more and more about the earth's southernmost continent mostly through news reports of melting ice rising sea levels and maybe some popular documentaries what i say ice and penguins on the whole however discussion on antarctica is focused on climate change and the reason for this is obvious of course climate change is a tremendous issue and one that i myself have spent a lot of time discussing but but let's take a step back from the issue of climate change for just a minute to ask if all the ice did melt what would happen and what would we find underneath let's start with what would happen to the rest of the world first so 98 percent of antarctica's surface is smothered under a massive ice sheet with an average depth of 1.6 kilometers and despite how big or small antarctica looks in maps it's actually the fifth largest continent on earth covering an area of 14 million square kilometers that makes it 1.4 times the size of europe and nearly oh, twice wow. the size of Australia. So, some quick math, 14 million square kilometers of ice at 1.6 kilometers deep gets you around 26.5 million cubic kilometers of ice. For comparison, that's nearly 11 times the volume of the Gulf of Mexico. And in all, Antarctica contains 70% of the Earth's fresh water. So, if oh, all of it were to melt, the entire world would feel the impacts. First, and perhaps most obviously, sea levels would rise by around 60 meters. This would result result in widespread flooding across the globe and nowhere near a coast would be safe. Places like the US state of Florida, the Amazon River Basin, and central China would entirely disappear beneath the ocean. In oh total, my. anywhere between- Oh, okay, I would be fucked. I mean, looking at this, I would be fucked. That is such an interesting view, man. That's wild to me, bro. That's absolutely wild. You're beneath the ocean. In total, anywhere between one and two billion people could be displaced by this event. Next, all this fresh water would alter the salinity, aka the saltiness of the ocean. This in itself would damage many marine populations and could even force the extinction of sensitive species like corals. But more importantly, the decreased salinity would alter the density of ocean water, which in turn could disrupt ocean currents. This would throw off the whole circulation of water throughout the oceans and the atmosphere. In short, the Earth's weather could be drastically altered, potentially turning traditionally humid agricultural land into deserts, while places that might be deserts today could become floodplains unequipped for large-scale agriculture. And because Earth's weather system is so complex, we really would have no way of knowing where changes like this would occur. We'd essentially be sitting ducks in the face of drastic global change. But what about the land of Antarctica? What would we find there? Alright, so today Antarctica looks like this. Pretty boring. These parts aren't technically part of the continent, but rather they're just ice shelves hanging over the ocean. Taking them away, it still looks rather unspectacular. But stripping all of the ice away reveals something unexpected. What appeared to be a single landmass is actually a collection of mountainous islands with five main bodies and a bunch of smaller ones, close to a large flatland region making up the majority of the land area. So oh, what wow. looks like a contiguous continent now Bro, I thought, I literally thought other than the mountains, I thought it was all just like like ice i didn't know there was actually like, like flatlands and stuff that's 
shocked me. I don't know why. It probably shouldn't have, but that's shocked In a lot me. of ways, looks very similar to Australia and the accompanying Malay archipelago. One large flat land surrounded by more mountainous islands. The notable features of the continent today would become isolated into islands of their own, with the Antarctic Peninsula becoming the largest of these such islands, while Vincent Massif, the continent's tallest mountain, would become the island with the greatest elevation. The Transantarctic Mountain Range, which today is the fourth longest mountain range on Earth, would barely remain connected to the main landmass. For comparison, the Antarctic Peninsula would measure roughly 250,000 square kilometers, which is almost 50,000 square kilometers larger than Great Britain and <laughs> wow. barely smaller than California. Mainland Antarctica would be half its previous size to become 7 million square kilometers, or roughly equal in size to Australia. One last thing before we move on is this is what the continent would look like today, having removed the ice. But over time, this would change. You see, because the land was under such heavy ice for so long, the crust actually sank into the mantle here. With all that heavy ice removed, it would slowly bounce back up over many thousands of years. What this is fuck? called isostatic rebounding, and it's happening currently in places like Canada and Norway as a result of glaciers from the last ice age. So you're, tell you're telling me places like Norway and Canada are just, are just getting bigger. The land they're getting is more and more. <laughs> God so damn. when all is said and done and the crust is back in place, Antarctica would look more like this. Now it would be three big land masses with the biggest at around 9 million square kilometers, just smaller than Europe. Then the aforementioned Peninsula Island and this large highland region which would likely come to be known as Mary Bird Island, see a map of modern Antarctica to know why, both would roughly be 650,000 square kilometers in size. This would place both of them ahead of Madagascar but behind Borneo in size, making them the new fourth and fifth largest islands on the planet. Okay, wow. so now that we know what the land would look like, next we need to know what we would actually find there. Despite what many people might be hoping for, even without ice, Antarctica today would still be a barren and inhospitable country. Is this Antarctica now? So I mean, if I'm looking at this and this is Antarctica, I mean, <laughs> there is land. I don't know why I didn't know there was land. <laughs> I just didn't, I didn't assume there was land. I just thought it was mountains and stuff. Why am I so stupid? First, it would still be located right on the South Pole, meaning temperatures would be frigid year-round, and for half of the year the sun would never rise above the horizon. And much like other places on Earth that have experienced recent glaciation, like Canada, Scandinavia, and Northern Russia, Antarctica would be devoid of most soil or arable land. After millions of years beneath those massive ice sheets, all sand, silt, and clay would have been dispersed, and what's still underneath is likely only sheer bedrock and gravel. Not the best conditions for agriculture. Aww. The best we could hope for is for a tundra ecosystem to slowly develop, featuring wide stretches of moss and lichens. Perhaps still with millions of penguins though. Here's hoping. If we wanted to, the land could be used as grazing land for musk oxen, which are capable of living under such conditions. And maybe species like arctic hares and arctic foxes could be brought down on boats to create a true ecosystem. Also, the landscape would be fraught with small lakes and ponds, similar to northern Canada, again due to glaciation, and most of the low elevation regions would end up looking like this. And while large-scale farming would be impossible here, Antarctica could become a hub of another major economic activity, mining. You see, Antarctica was once part of the supercontinent called Gondwana 600 million years ago. Besides Antarctica, Gondwana included the landmasses of South America, Africa, Arabia, India, and Australia. And while each of these places have moved apart from one another, they still share a common richness in natural resources, and it's expected that Antarctica would share a similar abundance of wealth. Perhaps most importantly, huge reserves of both coal and oil are predicted to lay underneath Antarctica, which until this point have remained completely untapped. Also expected to be found here are deposits of iron, copper, platinum, gold, silver, and uranium. Who exactly gets to take advantage of these resources, however, is still up in the air. Currently, seven countries lay claim in Antarctica, but these claims are tenuous and most likely to be ignored if real land emerges. So it's anyone's guess as to what the scramble for Antarctica would look like. Hopefully Hopefully, the UN could mitigate land distribution to avoid things getting violent. Perhaps even land could be assigned based on how much land a country lost due to rising sea levels. In a way then, Antarctica could become a land of refuge, and would even maybe become a country of its own, united by climate change, populated by refugees, rich from their abundant resources, and maybe with a very unique cuisine. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you want to see more, consider hitting that like button and subscribing for more videos like this. I like the channel in the future. a lot. I'm getting ready to start another small series, hopefully starting next week, and you I really like this channel. don't want to miss that. But for now, Honestly, thanks yeah. for watching. I really like it. Again, it's not all properly, it's probably not all going to like be the case, but 
it's just interesting to see these perspectives of what could possibly happen. Antarctica, I have oil, USA, there's a penguin civil war. Antarctica needs democracy. Antarctica, um, not even being included on the map. New Zealand, welcome to the club, bro. The sea level in this world in the world rises. Mongolia, chill guys, nothing happened. <laughs> what is Mongolia like really, really high up or something? Antarctica has untapped oil reserves. USA, time to implement Operation Antarctica Freedom. Imagine all the undiscovered fossils. 2050, what if Antarctica never melted? <laughs> what, when it actually ends up melting, for fuck's sake. I mean, if it melts, I think we're all fucked, to be honest, but let's pray it doesn't. And a very unique cuisine shows penguin. Penguins have left the chat. <laughs> Huge reserves of oil are predicted to lay under, underneath Antarctica. America's entered the chat. Oh, America ate in the chat time ago. China, Antarctica has been part of China since ancient times. And I mean, yeah, what are your thoughts on this? Again, I know some people get a bit touchy about this kind of stuff about global warming. I don't know why. I don't know why, but I guess some people do about this kind of stuff. But yeah, let me know your thoughts on this. Do you think any of, this, any of these predictions are true? Do you reckon they'll end up actually happening? Do you reckon it's ever going to end up fully melting? I mean, it's. I don't really know. I feel like it is, but I hope it doesn't. But I mean, yeah, let me know, know your thoughts in the comments. Hopefully you enjoyed. If you want more reactions from this channel, let me know in the comments. And yeah, until next time, like, subscribe.